What's up guys? Welcome back to a new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a, uh, a drift car physics um, game. So, um, I guess uh, let's get started. So, you're going to need um, a car, and that's all we really need for now. Okay, so, um, then, here, wait, just a second. Then I'm also gonna paint another costume, um, and I'm actually gonna copy the car and then paste it here. And then this can be like for like a dirt tracks thing if we wanted to have like tracks like the for the drifting. So I can you can just like um, like. Just um, figure out how to make it so that it's like looks like it's coming off of the car, sort of like this size, maybe. Except um, smaller. And then. Um, And then just like delete the, the car. Okay, so um, then I'm actually gonna make these shorter um, because they look too long. And then, um, so yeah, then you can call this tracks or something. Okay, so then um, what you're gonna do is also um, need one more sprite and call it wheel because um, we can have like a steering wheel to drive it so then we can just um, paint like a costume with, like an outline and then we can just say like no fill and then we have to make it so that it looks like it's um, turned sideways because it needs to be facing this way because th that's just how it'll work better so then we can say, um, then we can just like draw a line like this and then draw a line across and then just make this maybe more like 20 because it looks a little thin. Um, and then once you make this 20, then what we can do is, um, then, uh, okay. Yeah. And then this is basically the wheel and then you can just go over to the car now and then we can do some of the code. So we're gonna need um, some variables. So we can make um, we can make a variable called um, friction. And then we can make a variable called uh, velocity. And then we can make a variable called um, xvel, x velocity, so xvel, and then yvel. Okay, so then once we have this, we can, um, when the green flag is clicked, we can set the friction to be 1.1. And then we can set the velocity to be zero. And then we can also set the x -vel and the y -vel to be zero. So it won't have any speed. Then we can um, go to zero, zero. So it'll be on the center of the screen. And then like, point in the direction 90 and then so then forever oh by the way we can also like change this position though too to be like negative 100 and 20 uh whoops i meant to put a minus sign in front of that okay and then we can go back over to the car and then so forever we're going to change the x row um by the velocity um times uh so velocity and then times the sign of our direction so we'll get a sign which is this absolute value block and then change it to sign and then get direction from the motion category and then um duplicate this and say change y -vel by the same thing except for change it to cosine and then um, we're gonna turn um, 
uh, and then a multiplication, and then we need a new variable called steer, and we can do the, the, the codes for the steering later, but right now we can turn um, ste um, velocity divided by 1.5 times steer, and then to do that, so then, and then we can say, um, for the moving, we could use W, uh, we can use the arrow key, so we can say if um, key W pressed, I mean up arrow, you could do W2 if you wanted to do WASD. If key up arrow pressed, then change the velocity, um, change the velocity by 0 0.05, and then if the down arrow is pressed, then, um, where's down arrow? then change it by negative 0.05 and then next what we're going to do is just say if key space pressed whoops space pressed then we can just set velocity to be um velocity divided by 100 so it'll like come to a stop and um yeah so then um then we can set the x fell um right here to xvel divided by friction so friction and then xvel and then we can do the same thing for the yvel oops so do that right here and then do yvel divided by friction and then we can also set the velocity to be velocity divided by friction and then we can change our x by the x vel and then our y by the y vel so now it'll move um when we um change the x vel and y vel and then we can just set the steer to be the direction of wheel divided by three and the the wheel is going to be um yeah how we use steer so um yeah so then direction of wheel so then just change this to direction and then um in the wheel you can just say um w then we can just say um wait just a second um so yeah we're gonna say when clicked go to um zero minus 120 and then we can say forever just point in direction um mouse x divided by two so now it will um turn um so mouse x where's mouse x oh yeah divided by two and now if we click the flag and press the arrows oh yeah and i see why um we should actually do w um so that you can use your mouse with one hand and then um so yeah, now it's this, and then, so you can um, turn and stuff, and then you can go forward, and then you turn. It's kind of hard to get the hang of, but once you do, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so then, um, the last thing I could show you guys how to add um, would be like, um, I'm, yeah, and I'm going to also hide these variables. So yeah, I guess um, the last thing would be uh, the, the the tracks. So um, what you do for this is just um, when clicked, uh, we're gonna need the pen, and then we say erase all, and then we hide the sprite, and then what we do is um, forever. Then um, we go to the the car, so it goes to the car and then it points in the same direction as the car so then get this point in direction and then say um then get this backdrop number of stage block and change it to direction of car but make sure you change it to car first because there isn't a direction for the stage and then um we set the the brightness effect to um and this part is kind of um is kind of long so then uh get a, a times and then negative one, and then, so then say, um, absolute value of, um, 
a multiplication and then so velocity and then put another um, multiplication so velocity times 10 um and then and then on the other side put a divided by and then put direction um of wheel so direction and same for this direction of wheel divided by 10 and then um then you uh just stamp which will just like it's like cloning but it's like this and then so now we do this it's got this crazy drift thing and i think i i think i made my costume too big you guys can change how big your costume is because mine's uh not perfect but yeah it it, it looks kind of cool i mean but i i think i made mine too big but uh yeah but it, it works so yeah that's that's all for this tutorial um hope you liked it and yeah make sure to like and subscribe so yeah bye